With all the hype around Comfy UI today, I thought it would be a great idea to start from the beginning and show you how to install it along with some supporting plugins. Let's get started. The absolute first thing we need is something called Git. And basically what this does, it pulls files from GitHub, which is sort of the main site for a lot of stuff for stable diffusion. And we'll be using this in this video and future videos to come. It's very easy to install, so don't worry about it. Click on the link and when you get to this page, you wanna download the version that pertains to you. For most of you, it'll be this one. So click on that and save it to your downloads folder. In your downloads folder, you'll see this icon here. All you have to do is double click it. You'll get a notification if you want to install it. Just click on yes. And then when you see this window, just simply click on install. Then it's going to run through the installation process. That's all you really have to do. Next, we're going to install Comfy UI. So head on over to this page and scroll down until you see this section here, installing for Windows. Click on this link to download it. And also, if you don't already have 7-Zip, click on that link to download it. This will help extract Comfy UI. Depending on your system, if it's 64 or 32-bit, most likely it'll be 64. You want to download this version. Once a file is downloaded to your downloads folder, simply right click. Click on Open with 7-Zip File Manager. Select the file and click on Extract. At this point, you want to select where you want to install it. So you can click on three buttons here and pick a drive of your choice. You could even create a new folder if you want. I'm just going to leave it on my C drive and click OK. This should only take a few seconds depending on your system. Next, you want to go into that directory. In my case, it was my C drive. You'll see a folder here called Comfy UI Windows Portable. Double click on that. This is your main Comfy UI folder that will hold all your other assets. We'll come back to this in a second. But for now, what I want you to do is hover over this icon that says Run NVIDIA GPU BAT. Right click, Share More Options, and we're going to send it to the desktop. That will make it more accessible whenever you want to start up Comfy UI. Back to the installation page, you want to scroll down just a bit here. And by the way, if you're an AMD user, you can run it only on a Linux environment. You want to follow these steps here. For NVIDIA users, you want to highlight all of this line here and click on Control C. Back to the Comfy UI folder, so you want to double click in the main Comfy UI folder. Highlight the URL and put in CMD once again. We'll be in the command window and we want to paste that information and click enter. This is going to install Xformers that helps speed up the generation time as well as PyTorch which is needed to run Comfy UI. Leave the window open. We'll go back to the main instructions here. Highlight this line here and simply paste it in the command window. Now before we test it, make sure it's working. You need to download a model either from Hugging Face or Civit AI. This is the standard stable diffusion one. So if you're new starting out, this is always a good starting model. However, I do recommend the custom models from Civit AI. This will also be linked in the description below. So you want to just scroll down and you want to download this one that says pruned EMA only safe tensors. We'll click on that. And you might as well download it directly to the proper location. So in my case, it's my C drive. Comfy UI's Windows Portable, Comfy UI, Models, and you'll see a folder called Checkpoints. You want to click on Save there. Now, if you want a custom model, the place to go is Civit AI. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below. But any of these top ones are great to start with. Now we can finally test it out and see if it's running properly. So you want to double click on that icon that we saved on our desktop. When it opens up, you'll see the default interface. Now you could zoom in with a scroll wheel or control plus and minus. And you see the checkpoint here, the model is already loaded. Let's open that up a bit. And to navigate, you just have to click on the workspace and move around. It has a default prompt already. So we're just going to run this. And to generate the image, we're going to hit Q prompt here. And you'll see as it passes through the process, and there's our image. So congratulations, you've installed Comfy UI. 
if you happen to be new to stable diffusion, basically Comfy UI is like looking under the hood of all those other platforms like Automatic 1111, Invoke AI, or even some of the online ones that you might be using. Now this is a very basic setup, but the way it works is that you load your model here and that model contains all the data that will create your image. In this section, we see clip text encoders for our positive and negative prompts. This is how we tell the AI what image we want. And the text encoding is really just converting data into numbers. And then at the bottom here, you see something called empty latent image. So think of a blank canvas. So depending on what you type in here, it's going to pull information from the model. It'll go through something called a diffusion process where it creates all this noise and there'll be layers upon layers of that noise. Then it'll go through this sampler process and this is what helps to do the denoising to create your image. The VA decode here is sort of like the final steps and it'll convert all this information back into pixels to create your final image. I definitely want to go deeper on this process in future videos, but that's basically how it works. Before we get into some other housekeeping stuff, I do want to show you how to install the plugins manager that we're going to use quite a bit in future videos. Once again, click on the link in the description below and you'll come to this page. As we scroll down here, we'll come across the installation section and the method we're going to use is the second method here. So the first step is to install Git. We've already done that. The second step is to download this into the Comfy UI Windows Portable directory. Now, instead of clicking on it, we're going to right click, save link as, and we have to find this directory here, Comfy UI Windows Portable, and save it into that folder. Head on over to that same folder, and now you'll see this icon here, Install Manager for Portable Version. We're going to double click and it'll do the installation. Let's shut down Comfy UI. You also want to close this window too. And then we're going to restart Comfy UI. When you restart Comfy UI, now you're going to see this manager option. Let's click on that. You'll get this menu now and there's quite a few things we can do here. But this one is the most important, install custom nodes. At this point, I want you to go to your menu here and click on the gear. There's a few options here that we need to select. Here where it says save menu position, that basically saves the right menu here and keeps it in the same spot. If you want to move it around, you can uncheck that. The invert menu scrolling by default, it's like opposite. If you scroll up when you're in a drop down, it'll scroll down. So I have mine checked on personal preference, of course. Now the color palette, you can choose light if you wanted more of a lighter canvas or solarized. I quite like how this looks. The only thing with solarized, if you change the colors here, it's hard to see the text sometimes, right? So speaking of colors, you can assign colors. If you right click anywhere here, there's an option for color. So if I wanted to make this green, then I can make this one red for positive and negative. For case sampler, I tend to use yellow. And this is what I was saying where it looks more gray. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's okay. I'm quite used to it. But if it bothers you, just use the default settings. Next, we're gonna install two custom nodes for today. So let's head over to manager install custom nodes in the search area here i want you to type in fail you'll see this one called fail fast comfy ui extensions this is really just to help organization and stuff we're going to install that and then the next one i want you to type in impact you'll see comfy ui impact pack let's click on install there in order for these to kick in we got to restart comfy ui again so let's shut down and restart and if you want to know where these custom nodes are located, go to your main Comfy UI folder and you'll see a folder called custom nodes. If we open that up, you'll see all the custom nodes that you have installed. So here's FailFast, the Comfy UI Manager, and the Impact Pack. Back in Comfy UI, let's click on the gear once again. And you're going to see some additional options that we don't really have to worry about right now. But the one I want you to click on is for snap to grid. And just to show you, if we change this bottom one, you see how it says link render mode. If we change this to hidden and close that, 
see all the noodles have disappeared. They are still connected. In the snap to grid, let's say I move this over here. You see that little nudge? Let me move in closer. It just keeps it nice and tidy there. So you can get really close to it if you wanted to make it more organized. Or if you want it further apart, it just snaps to the grid, right? Now, if you're like me and you use other platforms like Automatic 1111, how you can redirect your models to ComfyUI is pretty simple. So first go to your Stable Diffusion Models folder. If you're using Automatic 1111, it should look something like this. You would just have to right click, copy address text. In my case, I have a dedicated hard drive just for my models. So I'm gonna do the same, right click, copy address to text. Then you'll have to go to your main Comfy UI folder. Then look for this file called Extra Model Paths YAML Example. You can open it with something like Notepad. I've got Notepad++. And within this file, it tells you what to do. So for your checkpoint models, you can paste your directory here. So we're gonna right click, paste. And then you would do the same thing for all your other files like your VAEs, your LORAs your upscale models, whatever the case may be, you can paste your links here. And then if you look at the top here, it says rename this to extra underscore model underscore paths dot YAML. Then on the top right, you wanna click on save. So you can right click, select rename or F2, and just remove the example from here in the period. Hit enter, click on yes. And now let's restart Comfy UI. If we go under our load checkpoints, now I have all my stable diffusion models. Coming up in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to build your own workflow from scratch and how to use some custom nodes for some further customization. Now make sure to check out that next video up here. If it's not there, that just means I'm editing it. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.